What is up everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical back with another video for you here today and today we are going to be assembling the upper receiver for a AR. This is a aero precision. Uh, we're doing a custom builder kit. So this is the upper receiver to that. Um, I'm actually this is one video of many as far as doing the full build for an aero precision. So we're using all aero precision parts here. As you can see, let's just go over what we have in front of us. This is the stainless steel mid-length gas tube. You can see I have it laying out here. So we're going to need that to go ahead and assemble our upper. And then also in the bag there, there's a little pin. So don't lose that if you bought the uh, Aero Precision gas tube. So keep an eye out for that. And then we have our barrel here that we're going to be putting on as well. is a 223 barrel or 556. And then it also came with a pin as well for the gas tube I believe there and also this came in the custom builder kit this is our barrel nut that will go on to secure the barrel so we're going to need that as well as we could possibly need the shims these came in the custom builder kit as well um, to go ahead and time our barrel up so that's it as far as our parts we have let's go over what tools we need as far as tools we're going to need, I have them in front of us here. This is the Wheeler AR-15 upper vice block. So we're going to use this to secure our upper while we're working on it. So that way we can torque the barrel down. Uh, super helpful. So that way you don't scratch up your upper or any of the paint on your uh, firearm. So definitely recommend this. Again, this is the Wheeler one. Uh, in that kit, it also came with this. This is to help align the gas tube. You put this in the bolt carrier group section of your upper to help align the gas tube. So again, that came with the block. So just a bonus, we can use that as well. Also, obviously the big thing here is you're gonna want a vise, again, to lock everything down so we can torque everything to spec. And when we put the uh, barrel on, we're gonna use some, uh, this anti-seize grease. You can just use any kind of grease, but this is an anti-seize grease that we're gonna go ahead and put on the threads so that way we can get it on as well. You will need a torque wrench that I have here. Um, and then with the torque wrench, this actually came with the Aero Precision Custom Builder Kit. This is for the barrel nut. As you can see here, it'll lock right on to these teeth here. This is the barrel nut. And, geez, if I can put it together, come on, there we go. And this is what we're gonna use to torque it down with the torque wrench. So we'll need that. And then as well, we also will need the correct size Allen key wrench for the gas tube to pin that or to secure that to the barrel. So that's it as far as tools. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go ahead and get our upper secured in the uh, this Wheeler vice grip device. So all you have to do is open it up like so. And then this in the center here, we're going to drop this in the bottom and you can see where the, um, the ejection part where the bullet hits here or the shell, that's going to go to the left side here. And then you just clamp it down, wiggle it a little bit and you'll see it'll drop into place like so. And then it's good to go. Also, uh, if you didn't see it, I always like to take the dust cover off here. Um, just because to have it out of the way while we're working on it makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna put that in and then we're gonna go ahead and secure this into our vise now. All right, now with it secure in our vise here, I'm gonna go ahead and move this so that way it's at a good spot for you guys to see as well. Now we are ready to work on the front part here and get the barrel put on. So we got our barrel here, but before we go ahead and start putting it on, uh, we do need to grease up our threads as well as the end of the barrel. So that way this all goes together. So again, I have this one. It's almost like a, like a chapstick that you can put on, but I'll probably end up just using my finger too. So I'm just drawing it around, putting grease on the threads. Or again, this is like Loctite grease. Getting it all around the threads and then as well, we're gonna be putting it on the end of the barrel here. Just like so. And then I like to actually put some on this collar right here cause that's where the barrel nut will come and meet up on. So I think it's good to put some on the edge of this collar here to help seed that better as well. So I guess in general, don't be shy with the grease. It'll, you can always wipe it off after it. So cool. So once we have all that on, now we're ready to put this together. Just a heads up, before you um, put your barrel on, you will need to remove your gas block, or you typically will, because you won't be able to get your barrel nut over it if the gas block's on. So just a heads up there, remove your gas block before trying to get too far into it here. 
So again, with everything greased up, now we're ready to insert this into the receiver. And as you see here, well, there's a lot of grease on it, but there's a notch right here, and that's going to line up with the hole on the receiver. And this is where things might be a little bit tight. And again, hopefully the grease helps, like so. And just like that, we are all set as far as lining that up. Now we can go ahead and get our um, barrel nut and get that started. Stick it on the end of your barrel, bring it up, and we're just going to go ahead and tighten this guy down. There we go. And it's just normal righty-tighty for this one. And once we get it hand tight, then we're going to go ahead and begin the um, torque process with the torque wrench there. So, cool. Now, go ahead and grab your, uh, again, this one came with the barrel nut, or uh, yeah, barrel nut wrench for the aero precision one. And we're going to put that on our barrel nut here, like so. Actually, I'm going to put it down one more. And then grab your torque wrench that you have here. And for the first time cranking it on, I set it to 55, as you can see here, because we're going to do this uh, two or three times. I'll probably just do it twice, but two or three times is always best to be safe in order to make sure that the threads all get um, aligned on there correctly and this stays secure. So again, 55 for the first one, and we're going to go ahead and torque this down. Best way to get a good torque reading is to have the torque wrench at a 90 degree angle um, of your uh, attachment here that I have. So like so, and then with that, you can go ahead and torque it until it clicks and pull. There you go until it clicks. And then now we're actually going to loosen it. So backing it back off and we're going to do this two or three times to make sure that those threads all seat together. Woo! All right, not gonna lie, I had to take this to the floor because again, I have just a mobile vise. If you have one that's on a workbench or something sturdy, this will be a lot easier to do. But since mine isn't bolted to anything, I had to put it on the floor and use a foot and like a hand to <laughs> kind of keep it in place while you torque it because 55 pounds of torque is quite a bit but i'll talk you through the process though so basically all you had to do set your torque wrench to 55 torque it all the way down once you do that loosen it uh to where it's just loose again then you're going to adjust your torque wrench to 65 pounds of torque so with it at 65 same thing tighten it back down this will click it'll do the click noise that means it's at that uh pounds of torque and then after that your threads are all good and your barrel nuts on and you're good to go so all right all right with the barrel nut on let's go ahead and set this aside and we're going to move on over to the gas block and gas tube so in front of us here we have our gas block we have our two set screws with it and then our gas tube as well and the other thing that you're going to need is the little pin to put through the top part of your gas block um Sometimes they don't come with it. The gas block and the barrel did not come with it, but luckily our aero precision kit did come with it. The one with the tube, sorry, the aero precision tube, it did come with it, so we will need that. First thing we're going to do is grab your gas block and your tube, and it's going to feed into it right here. You see there's a hole on the inside where I'm pointing at the end of this, and there's also a hole on this that we want to line up. So go ahead and feed that in. And again, those are going to line up right there like so. And then when you do that, this top part here, you're also going to want to align as well. So just spin it as well right here at the top. So you can see there's a hole there now. And that hole still looks good. And then now we're going to go ahead and feed that small little pin through this hole to secure it in place. So to get it started, I like to, if you have some kind of um, polymer mat or something like that you can use that but I'm just going to use a roll of tape here to get it lined up again line up the hole and then I actually have a pick here to put the small rod on as well so I can put it on the end to get this started if you have a punch set or a, a punch set that has a little starter tool you can use that as well but otherwise you can do it just like this so now all we got to do is line it up and get it started
and I like to normally get it started a little bit here and then go ahead put our rod in and then finish tapping it in to make sure that it's all the way through as well. So as you can see here, we have it about the same on both sides with that key all the way in there or that rod. A little bit tricky to do, but you just got to use a couple different size punches. Big one at the beginning to get it in and then you do need a smaller one or something with a tip on it because um, you got to get it through the hole to get it even on both sides. Or I actually had a smaller punch like this one and that was useful too. But with that, now you have your gas tube on your block. Right, so now I pulled this out of the vise, our upper here, and we are ready to throw on our gas block and tube. So to do so, just put it on the end here and start getting it on. And then you'll see the rod, it'll actually feed through the hole on the upper receiver right there like so. And this is where when you pay for quality stuff, you get better results. Um, so for this barrel, um, normally you'll have to do some measurements and make sure everything lines up if I can get to focus as you see right here is your uh, gas port hole on the barrel here and you need that to line up with the hole that's underneath here in the black tube that goes into this tube and then we'll shoot the gas to the upper receiver here um, and again you need to measure it but with this barrel it came pre-measured from um, the factory and stuff and you can see they have a notch here already drilled into the barrel and that notch will line up with this hole here. So again, they did all the measuring for us already, which is awesome. And then all we have to do is line that up and then put this through to secure it. And then we can go ahead and fasten down our two um, fasteners as well. And we're good to go. So again, when you pay for quality, you get easier, uh, easier steps in your build. Otherwise, again, you'd have to measure all this, make sure that that hole is correct to the tube and everything lines up. With that, go ahead and get your gas block all lined up on your pad or like I had to use a roll of tape and then get your pin and you can get it started here. You're just going to use a punch set and hammer just like we did for the gas tube. So once you get it started, you can actually take your set screws and drop them in. That'll help secure it so it doesn't rotate around while you're whacking it, putting the pin the rest of the way in. So go ahead and get your set screws and get those tightened down on the gas block and the barrel. Again, we're just going to tighten down these set screws, make sure that they're snug on there, and then we can go ahead and hit the pin the rest of the way through here now. All right, after whacking that a bit, you can see that we got it centered there on the bottom of the gas tube. And when doing so, you can see that it perfectly aligned up our tube here where it's not touching one side or the other. It's lined up with our castle nut here just fine. It goes right over it. And again, that uh, gas port is all lined up too. So pretty nice, pretty easy to do that. And the gas tube's now on. So the only other thing yet to do is to actually take these screws out. I like to always put some blue Loctite on these. So I'll undo them, put some Loctite on, and then just tighten them right back in. All right, look at that, guys. So after all that, all you got to do is clean up a little bit some of the anti-C stuff. But your barrel, gas port, uh, gas block, gas tube, all of it's installed. And you're ready to put your handguard on and get everything assembled. So again, not too hard of a process. I know some people are scared to do this. Hopefully this is helpful in letting you know that it's not that bad as long as you have the right tools. If this was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have more videos where I already have them up of putting this whole thing together. So if you have any other AR questions uh, or comments, they can probably be answered in some of these other videos. Again, otherwise, let me know down in the comments. Always happy to help. So with that, have fun shooting, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.